Apologize ahead of time for the uh, my voice. <clears throat> it just uh, I can't seem to get it right on any of these videos. So congratulations to um, Errol Spence for his uh, sixth round stoppage of uh, Leonard Bundu. So now Spence, the number two rated welterweight for the IBF belt. Uh, the number one spot is vacant. There's no rating there. So we'll have to wait until the August ratings come out. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. And uh, we'll see how that plays out. But um, Spence beat uh, Leonard Bundu fighting out of Italy. Um, he actually dropped Bundu with a, a body shot. And Bundu was hurt. Uh, the referee missed it, ruled it a, a, a push, which there was a push along with the uh, shot. And then <clears throat> he came up with a follow-up volley and got Bundu out of there. It was it was pretty scary how Bundu hit the hit the canvas with his rope, uh, hit the ropes, I should say, and the canvas with his leg uh, kind of awkwardly bent. That's how you can tear an ACL and, <laughs> and other CLs. Um, listen, Errol Spence, is le Errol Spence Jr. is legitimate, uh, however, let, let's not make more of what he did, um, let's not make more of it, he did what he was supposed to do, he was a 100 to 1 favorite, he fought a 41 year old man, and, um, he did what he was supposed to do. Uh, Leonard Bundu came to party early on. I mean, he was landing some shots. And moving forward, Leonard Bundu is not a puncher. Chris Algieri, who Spence also stopped, was not a puncher. So there was no threat. The only threat Bundu had was his awkward style. How do I catch him and get him out of there or hurt him badly? Uh, if, you, if, if you remember, and Bundu's talking about how accurate and how many more punches that Spence threw than Keith Thurman. Well, Keith Thurman's been kind of like a uh, a pot shot defensive or, or at least attempting to be defensive guy ever since um, a certain fight where he got rocked. And so he, he, it's kind of like he changed his style. But if you remember, uh, Thurman put Bundu down early and then kind of went into boxing mode and, and stick and move mode and and didn't uh wasn't a, a threat as far as knocking him out i mean there was some booze for uh thurman in that fight they they wanted him to jump on bundu and get him out of there which he didn't but he did he knocked him down early um earlier than spence did i, I thought spence got caught with some shots and i think moving forward against a puncher or punchers he has to get those defensive flaws uh, taken care of. There was a fight uh, a little while back, maybe a year or two ago, when Spence was on, it may have been CBS or NBC, I, I can't recall, where he got he got hit with a combination, a two-piece combination, twice, from a guy who, who had no business connecting with the combination once, let alone twice. So that offensively, I mean, he's on point. He's, he's where he needs to be defensively. As I stated, it won't show its ugly face against a, a Leonard Bundu who can't hit and a, and a Chris Algieri who can't hit. But when you fight guys in the future, that, that's, uh, that's something that needs to be corrected. Spence, now he'll probably fight for the vacant IBF belt. I just don't see Kell Brook. If he loses to Gennady Golovkin, I just can't see him coming down and defending it. And, and and if he does get down to 147 to defend against Errol Spence Jr., I'd bet the house on Errol Spence Jr. 
for the simple reason that I, I just can't see Brooke not being weight drained in that fight. I can't see it. So who does Spence fight? Well, I'm hoping that these two guys in the number three and four position pass. Uh, the, the Constantine guy from Russia, uh, Panamarev, and then the uh, Australian, uh, Jeff Horn. I'm hoping those two guys pass. It, it's just not a fight that fans want to see or will want to see. The next name on the list at number five is Lamont Cheaterson, uh, uh, excuse me, Peterson. And that's a fight. It would, it would be nice to be an East Coast fight, bring it back to Coney Island, bring it to uh, Brooklyn, which is Coney Island, same thing. Um, Barclay Center, Coley Island, um, even Jersey, or Philly if you could find a venue. Uh, just not Washington, D.C., That's that would be like a home game for uh, Lamont Peterson and Hopefully not in uh, Spence's hometown in Texas. But I, I, I prefer it to be on the East Coast and not the West. I think as you've built the brand of uh, Errol Spence, and he has family from Brooklyn, Coney Island, what have you, Long Island. Um, as you've built his brand, his past few fights have been East Coast in Brooklyn slash Coney Island. and. Uh, Peterson, he's fought in New York, he's fought in, uh, on the East Coast, so I think it's a natural. It'd be nice if you can get that Gervonta Davis and uh, Jason Sosa title fight on the same card. I mean, that, that would be a stacked, that would be a nice nice card. I don't know, logistically, I don't know if it works out, but uh, wouldn't mind seeing that at all. Uh, Jason Sosa, Jersey guy, and um, Camden, New Jersey, and Gervonta Davis from uh, Maryland. Baltimore so that's a natural East Coast fight also not Boston not Las Vegas I mean just East Coast in that New York to DC area or any city in between so Spence as I stated did what he was supposed to do he did what he was supposed to do um, and what I mean by that is, you know, everybody's, oh, he's better than Ray Leonard. Oh, he's the next this Mayweather. He's just, nah, man. Look, look. He doesn't fight anything like Floyd Mayweather Jr. He like he fights a little bit like Money Mayweather Jr. I mean, uh, uh, Pretty Boy Floyd, the guy that let his hands go. But, no, he, he there's some defensive flaws that need to be fixed. And um, he's southpaw. I mean, let, let's, let's, let's stop. Let's stop, please. Uh, he passed two tests that he was supposed to pass, but the resume. I mean, let's 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 still let it play out before we crown him as one of the greatest, or even one of the best of, of this era. So let's see how it plays out. Hopefully, um, the Peterson fight. Not not to say Peterson is all that, but that that would be a nice fight. It would be better than the other the aforementioned names as an opponent for the vacant title. And uh, they're both in the same stable, so to speak. So it, it, it would be a good look. Um, he did what he was supposed to do. He beat a 41 year old man. Let, let's put it this way. Years from now, when Errol Spence, Errol Spence is 41, put him in a ring with a guy who's 26 and who has comparable skill as Spence does now. Let that fight play out and then come see me. And then you understand. I don't, I don't think Errol Spence will be fighting at 41. I don't know. That's 15 years from now. I might not be on his earth. <laughs> but uh, until that, when that day comes, as I stated, come see me. And then we can talk about a guy doing what he was supposed to do. Follow us at The Fight Journal on Twitter. Go to our website. At the top left side, you'll see follow this blog via email if you 
type your email in. Everything we do will come to your email. You won't have to look for us. Um, if you're in mobile phone mode and the screen is blue and white, go to the bottom, select view full site, and then you'll see the uh, box where you can type your email in. And definitely subscribe. We need your subscriptions. We're not asking for any donations. It's absolutely free. Uh, just follow us on, uh, so please subscribe to our YouTube channel. And our sister site, friends of ours, DPG Uncut TV. They're coming with some entertainment and hip hop videos, interviews, you name it. They got some big stuff coming up uh, related to Tupac, Shakur, and Suge Knight, and Snoop Dogg, and Daz, and Corrupt. And they also gonna have some East Coast stuff now, but the focus is right now on that 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 circle. So uh, until then, we catch you on the next one. Please subscribe.